Okay, let's take a look at our second bootable USB today. We're going to look at Heron's Boot CD. So go ahead and head on, head on over to heronsbootcd.org forward slash download. I will put this link in the description for you guys. Scroll down if you want to take a look at all the different applications or utilities included. Feel free to do so. Scroll down until you see the ISO file under file name. Click on that. And we'll go ahead and download it. We're going to do sort of a two for one today. So we're also going to download Ventoid. This is an ISO, so we could rip this really with uh, Rufus or any other application you're familiar with for uh, creating a bootable USB or a bootable disk from an ISO. But why not use Ventoid? It'll be our first look at it on this channel, and we're going to be using it later on in the series. All right, so let's download the latest Windows zip version for Ventoid. You're gonna get that at, excuse me guys, you're gonna get that at ventoy.net forward slash en forward slash download.html. I'll put that in the description as well. All right, so you just wanna click on the Ventoy Windows Zip. Give it a second and that will kick off the download for that. We'll let both these finish and we'll be right back. All right guys, downloads have completed. Let's go ahead and open our downloads folder. And let's extract the Ventoy zip. I think I've downloaded these a couple times here, guys, but I wanted to walk through it with you. So just go ahead and choose a folder wherever you want to extract those. We'll crack open Ventoy. And then launch the executable, the Ventoy to disk. Get a UAC prompt, just accept. All right, guys, so we see our Ventoy to disk application. So select your flash drive. I've got a blank 64 gig here, and I'm gonna just click on install to configure Ventoy on this flash drive. You'll get a warning that all, it'll be formatted and all data will be lost. So just make sure you're ready to do that. I'll click yes, and yes again, and this will start the process of installing Ventoy on the USB. Shouldn't take too long here, guys. Okay, that has completed. So now we are ready to put the Heron's Boot CD ISO onto this Ventoy enabled USB. So to do that guys, it's literally as simple as copying the ISO and pasting it onto the USB drive. Let's go back to our downloads folder and we'll locate our Heron's Boot CD ISO. Right click that, just say copy. We'll go to our USB and then we'll paste it. No way. Okay guys, that is it. It is as simple as that. You now have the ISO copied over to your Ventoy enabled USB stick. Let's go ahead and pop this guy out and we'll boot from it for my laptop and we'll see what Heron's looks like. Once this starts to boot, I have an HP laptop, so I'm gonna hit F9. Whatever your shortcut is for boot menu, hit that. And you see on the bottom left, entering boot menu. Okay, so now we're in the boot menu, guys. All right, once you're in there, go ahead and select the USB that you've inserted. So I'll hit enter here, it's the first choice. And that should allow us to boot directly to Ventoy, which we see here. And I only have one option on here. Ventoy is a multi-boot utility. And so we will in another video, take a look at Ventoy on how to put multiple ISOs on here, which is pretty straightforward, just copy them over. But let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So we'll boot into that by hitting enter. You can boot into win boot mode or normal mode. We'll just say normal mode. All right guys, looks like this has loaded up. 
don't have a mouse attached to the uh, laptop today, but we'll try to navigate here with the uh, keyboard. So if we take a look at our programs, we've got some accessibility utilities. We've got your standard accessories, administrative tools, and we've got some BCD or NBR tools, which is nice. Only a couple, but that's okay. We've got quite a few hard disk tools. We've got a collection for data recovery. We've got a defrag tool. We've got a hard drive diagnostic tool, or quite a few of them, that's nice. We've got some imaging utilities. There we go, some familiar names here. Acronis, Aomi, Laysoft. Here's some partitioning tools. Again, we see Aomi, Disk Genius, Ease Us. We saw that on our um, our other CD that we built or our other rescue disk that we built there, Medicat. Some security tools, Eraser. I'm assuming this is a DOD wipe. Yeah, these are both uh, DOD style multi-pass zero out hard drive wipe utilities. Got some network utilities here. other tools just some random tools there it looks like some libra office type utilities there uh, alternatives to microsoft office notepad plus plus a must have vlc must have in my opinion we've got a recovery tool there it looks like a drive image we've got uh, removable drive utilities so you got a cd burner and a rufus which i talked about earlier you can use a rufus to burn isos for a bootable disk uh, doesn't allow you to do multi by default, so that's why we took a look at Ventoy today. Got some antivirus tools here, guys. We've got this is nice because Medicat only gave us one with Malwarebytes. We see a collection of four here. We see the ESET, we see Kaspersky, Malwarebytes, and McAfee. Very nice. Key Finder, this will show you product keys. Looks like both those programs do the same thing. Passwords, we've got a password recovery by Laysoft nt password edit windows login unlocker nice so it looks like you can get into a windows um, desktop if you have forgotten the password nothing in startup we've got quite a few system tools here it looks like mostly baked in things red shot sys internal suite it doesn't look like there's anything in that one would be nice because they've got some really good tools and sys internals uh, some hardware info tools looks like we can view the information on our hardware some windows setup tools Linux shell it's like different commands and utilities there and a windows recovery environment so a pretty good set of tools here guys i don't know what do you think as far as it stacks up to medicat we're going to find out later on at the end of the series, I'll do a comparison where I take a look at Medicat versus Hearings versus the other uh, rescue CDs that we will build here. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This was a quick tutorial on how to create Hearings boot CD bootable on a USB using Ventoy. And then we ran through a high level overview of the different baked in utilities for Hearings. So drop me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about Hearings. Let me know if you've tried Medicat and if you're going to try Herons. And if you do, let me know how they stack up in your opinion. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Until the next one, have a great day and take care, guys.